want to talk in this video about the notorious SEC check procedure. SEC means, SEC is an abbreviation for security. Check is to check if you're a security risk. Basically, it's a confessional. Scientology has evolved a crafty, crafty way to... There's such a thing in, in, in the doctrines of Scientology where you cannot be punished for anything you give up in counseling. If you're going to be punished, who's going to give it up? So there's a, a golden rule. You cannot be punished for anything you say in auditing, in counseling. So look at the bait and switch. This new thing evolved in the last 10, 15 years. If you say something, I, I was looking at my neighbor's husband and I flirted with him and we gave each other a lingering hug. Well, they can't punish you because it was a session. So this is what happens in the world of Scientology. You get into an interview and you're told the case supervisor has ordered you to confessional auditing, sex checks. A security check is exactly like counseling, but it starts off with the sentence, not auditing you. What does that mean, not auditing? Everything is like auditing. You hold the cans, you're floating needles, everything is auditing. But not auditing you means we can and will use everything you say to punish you. These days, of course, punishments mean great money extortions. You can get off the hook for most anything you do as long as you give big donations. But not auditing you means we can punish you for what you say. Since Scientology Inc. has morphed under David Miscavige, a vast amount of what goes on in the church is confessional auditing. Looking for your crimes. You see, there has to be a who. Somebody, if Scientology isn't booming and expanding, there's got to be somebody who has crimes. And the way we're going to find out these crimes is we're going to put them on the e-meter, make them hold the cans, and we're going to find out what are those crimes. A question. Uh, we read online uh, prepared lists, uh, for example, the Joburg sex check. But as I understand it, most sex checks are custom designed. Are they tailored to the specific person? Yes, there are a lot of prefabricated sex checks, which are incredibly boring because the <laughs> only a certain amount of people, right? They generalized cookie cutter. But a tailored sex check, like the example I gave you, you confessed in a counseling session that you were flirting with the neighbor's husband. So a tailored sex check would be, do you intend to have sexual relations with your neighbor, neighbor's husband? Have you masturbated to your neighbor's husband image in bed at night? It just the, the questions go right into, right into, sex is a huge, huge area of getting you to spit out <laughs> well, who, who actually who actually writes these questions? The, the case supervisor. So they actually the spend time writing specific questions that have to deal with your tailor private, made tailor made questions that deal with your private thoughts. Well, they're looking for deeds, really, uh, not so much deeds. thoughts. Well, you give the thought first, and then the auditor says, "Now, what have you done? What have you done? That's just thinking. What have you done? Have you done anything? Did you send them a little love note? What did you actually do?" Um, <laughs> the, let me tell you, these tailored sex checks can be done because OSA ask for it. If somebody knowledge reports you to the Religious Technology Center, I saw him friend Joe Schmo. Joe Schmo is also friendly with whistleblowers. And he's refused to non-friend three people that I know that are nattering. You see, because it's a culture of blame, 
Scientology cannot take any critical matter at all, ever. You are the Natterer. A Natterer is a Scientology slang term used colloquially a lot, meaning you're saying something negative about the church. That is known as nada or criticality. Therefore, you have crimes you're not admitting to. And therefore, That's in the culture. And therefore, you, because you have crimes, you're, you're going to pay several hundred dollars an hour to be sec checked for your crimes. For your crimes. Who puts up with this? You know, it's amazing. Because these are interrogatories for OSA. Very, if OSA is suspicious of someone, when they arrive at flag, the Hubbard office, Hubbard communication office has this list. He's friendly with so-and-so and so-and-so and, -so, and we know that he's talking to blah blah and da da da. So your tailored sex check would be, why are you hobnobbing and befriending known declared suppressive persons? So this is like a, you, a Facebook uh, sex check. Yeah, you, oh yeah, I just, you asked yeah. about tailor -made, Yes. And I'm giving you examples that security checks that are tailor-made come from various sources. The husband could report on the wife, it's done all the time, and send the report to the, what we call the PC folder, the file, the confessional file. So the husband is reporting on the wife, and then tailor-made questions are made to ask the wife based on the report from the husband. I mean, yeah, and the that? wife snitches on the husband, and then <laughs> the husband sits there holding the cans for $800 an hour. It's $800 an hour if you're OT5. <laughs> and you answer these questions on your crimes that your own spouse reported to the church on you. Once you get into the tunnel and you believe in all this, it's incredulous. But look at the license that make money. OSA has Facebook police. And all they have to do is put down, follow people who are Scientologists on Facebook and then have tailor-made sex checks for them when they arrive at FLAG or their AO or wherever, right? I mean, this is like having the security police following you around and you have to pay them for your interrogations. It is just... My beloved son, Alexander Chench, for the last four months that he was in the C organization, had security check questions on me. The church knew I was disaffected and out the door. So my son had to hold these cans to answer, what has your mother told you that was negative about the church? What is Karen saying? Da, 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 da. And, you know, Alexander was just worn down with this. And one day he was visiting. And I just was talking and I told him a story of how when I wanted to leave the sea organization, I had six months of security checks. Are you going to the Los Angeles Times? Are you going to report to the IRS? At the <laughs> and one day, I put my foot down and I said, you know what? I'm done. That's it. I've been doing this for six months and I'm out of here. Whether or not you agree. And I was telling Alexander this story, my beloved son, killed by the Church of Scientology, killed by their, by proxy. They had him disconnect from me, he died because he got no medical. I told Alexander the story of how I put my foot down. And he came and saw me seven days later and he said, Mom, I copied you. I went back in and told the church, I'm done. That's it. I'm not going to answer any more questions on my mom. I'm done. And they let Alexander Jench go. So, lesson to anyone watching this, if you're getting confessional after confessional after confessional to get your crimes, it's okay to say, I am done and I am out of here. 
the church really does not own you, even though it tries to play God.